Hi, everybody. I wanted to create a video to talk a little bit about the global consumption project that we started before spring break um, because I'd like to continue with it so that I don't leave it uh, with you starting on it and not being able to finish it. Uh, it's going to be a little complicated for us to do during remote learning, though, so that's one of the reasons I wanted to uh, do uh, a video about it. So I am going to start by sharing on my screen with you um, the instructions. So you might have these in your binder. Right now they're on my website uh, down in February, but I'm just going to quickly review them with you on here. So step one was to pick a topic or an inquiry question, and we talked about that a lot in class before spring break. You can see some of the topics and the ideas here. I'm pretty sure everybody's got their topic and their big question, um, so I don't think you have to worry too much about that, but if you wanted to go back and look at this and change things up, you are welcome to do that as well. Uh, the thing that I wanted everybody to finish before we went for spring break was to research their topic. Uh, so when you research your topic, you come up with some questions uh, and then you look in different sources of information, websites, books, and things like that for the answers to your questions. And I asked you to record those things on a gathering grid and uh, I'll uh, talk about that in, in just a sec once we go through all of these uh, instructions. The next thing to do is to choose a format to share your learning. You might want to make a poster, you might want to do a speech, you might want to uh, create a brochure or a flyer uh, or uh, a slide deck, PowerPoint or something like that. So you is including uh, doing a Prezi uh, or using PictoChart uh, to create some kind of a poster or something like that. Um, so I've put some links in the assignment on Google Classroom uh, to give you some options that way. Um, but you can choose whatever kind of creative way of sharing your learning uh, that you would like. Uh, then what you need to do is you need to uh, write a rough draft of what you want to share about your learning. So you're going to write some sentences about the things that you learned. You can use your notes to do this. Um, and when you're doing the rough draft, you don't need to worry about making it perfect because you can always fix that up when you start to revise and edit your writing. So I am going to uh, share with you my writing process page on my website in a couple of minutes so that you can see how you might use that uh, to help you out with this part. But revising is just rewording and making it sound clearer and better. And editing is correcting spelling mistakes, adding the proper punctuation and that kind of thing. Uh, and then the publishing part is where you pick your uh, particular format and you take your rough draft and you turn it into a good copy, uh, putting it into that format. If you're doing uh, something like a poster uh, and then you have to do a speech to go along with it, you can do that in a Google Doc um, and then share that along with your poster. And this bottom part here just shares uh, the learning goals that this assignment uh, relates to. So there's lots of learning in social studies and there's lots of learning in English uh, that this assignment relates to. So that's uh, what those learning goals are about. So I also just wanted to remind you about the gathering grid. Let me show you uh, an example of a gathering grid here. So it's got the topic up at the top and then it's got the sources of information that you looked at to find your uh, information that you made notes about. It's got the research questions that you had over on the side. And then when you look in a particular source of information and find the answer to a question, you write the notes about that answer underneath the source and beside the question that it answers. Notice that you don't need to have every square full of information because not every source of information will have an answer to every question. Um, but as you go through, you might also come up with new questions. Uh, as you research and find out more, you might come up with new questions and you might find different sources of information. And so you might end up putting some notes on the back or you might create a Google Doc or something like that. If you finished your gathering grid uh, and handed it in to me, then I have given you some feedback in Kaizena. I recorded uh, like a little note saying, uh, you've got some good questions, you need, maybe you needed to uh, 
uh, be more careful about uh, sharing what your resources were and recording that, or maybe you needed to find some more information. Um, so I gave you some feedback and uh, many of you are ready to move on to the next step. So the next thing I wanted to share with you is a particular document that I have uh, put into uh, the Google Classroom. So it is uh, a document or, or some pages in a book that we looked at in class a lot before spring break. So we talked about writing a report and selecting a subject and writing questions about your subject. Uh, and then learning about your subject by looking in different sources of information and answering your questions as you read. And so that's where the gathering grid came in. And so that's what I just showed you an example of. Um, and then the next stage after that is writing the first draft. So writing your rough draft, uh, writing, making sure it's got a beginning, a middle and an end, and then reading through your rough draft and reviewing it and seeing whether there are ways that you can revise it to make it sound better, seeing whether there are spelling mistakes and that you can correct or punctuation that's missing. Uh, and then you figure out how to do it on your good copy. When you're finished, you can go through this checklist at the end um, and you can use it to help you make sure uh, that your writing has all the important parts. I have also, uh, put a checklist on my uh, writing process page on my website and I have added it to the Google Classroom assignment. So it's got all of these things that you can look at to think about as you read through your paper uh, or your speech or your Prezi or whatever you've created and then you can think about whether uh, there are ways to improve it by going through each of these items and um, thinking about your writing and thinking about whether there are ways to make your writing better using this checklist. So that is the revising and editing checklist. Um, as I mentioned, that checklist is on my website. So I'm now just gonna quickly share with you which part of my website it's on. So on my website, if you point at assignments and then get the drop down menu, you can choose writing process and it will take you to this page. So this page has got a summary of the writing process that we've talked about in class a lot. It's got these graphics that try to explain the revising stage and the editing stage. Um, and then it's got that checklist that I just shared with you. It's got my paragraph about paragraphs to remind you the different parts of a paragraph. Uh, and then it's got some information about the six plus one traits writing model, which tells you about the different things or the different components that good writing has. So it's got good ideas, it's organized, you've put your voice or your personality into it, you're choosing the right words, uh, the sentences flow, maybe there's some uh, variety in short sentences and long sentences. And conventions is the part where it talks about uh, correct spelling and um, correct punctuation. And presentation is just basically how it looks at the end. So that would be if you put it into a PowerPoint or you use a Prezi. And you can even look at my uh, marking rubric uh, that I've got here on the page. Uh, that goes through each of those things and what uh, they look like if they're acquiring, developing, refining, proficient, mastering, and extending to get some ideas. Uh, so if you wanted to, you could even click. If there's one of these you're having trouble with, you could click on it and it will take you to a description about that particular uh, writing trait. So these are things that you can be using. These are resources that you can use as you are working on your global consumption project. Um, I just wanted to share with you a little bit how it's structured in uh, the uh, assignment in Google Classroom. So I'm quickly going to go. Uh, to so that. I've added a number of attachments to it. And uh, these attachments include the instructions that I just showed you. Uh, the writing process, uh, a link to my the writing process part of my website, a link to the PDF about writing a report that I just shared with you, and a link to the writing, revising, and editing checklist that I shared with you as well. I've also added links to uh, the Prezi website where you can sign up to create a Prezi account, and to the PictoChart website where you can sign up to create uh, posters and infographics and that kind of thing on there. 
Uh, so I've set a due date for this one, but it's uh, pretty off in the distance. So I've set a due date of Friday, May 8th, because I just want to give a little bit of structure to it so that uh, people aren't um, leaving it for too long and you're not letting it get uh, too out of hand in terms of uh, uh, keeping yourself on track and keeping yourself organized. Uh, when you eventually create a Google slide deck or a Google doc with a speech or a poster or whatever the case may be, I would like you to add that to the Google assignment so that I can see your final product. So we'll be working on this over the next little while. Um, and if you have questions, you can join, join me in a Zoom meeting where I can answer your questions or you can come during my office hours. Uh, and drop into my Zoom room and I'll have a conversation with you then. Or you can send me an email to ask questions or to arrange a uh, one-on-one -on -one Zoom meeting at a time uh, that will work for you. So good luck getting to work on this and I look forward to seeing everybody's uh, presentations of what they learned.